Hello everyone and welcome to Roarus. We are going to kick things off with the Scottish psychopath himself, Drew McIntyre. Now, um, last time we saw him, last week, uh, he decided that he was going to give Alistair Black a Claymore kick. He just walked off. So we'll see what Drew McIntyre has to say here tonight. Why did he do what he did? And uh, perhaps tonight he will shed some light on why he attacked Alistair Black. So, for the past week, all I've heard is, why did you do it, Drew? Why did you do it? Well, it's fairly simple. Alistair Black has been the talking point of Raw for the past three to four months. Yet, when he took me out, when I was injured, no one was like, oh, where's Drew? Where's Drew McIntyre? And you know what? That sickens me. So you know what I have to do? What I have to do is I have to stand here and say to you guys that I'm going to be the one to take away your hero. I'm going to be the one to take out Alistair Black and become the new United States Champion. And no one can do a damn thing. Oh, hang on a second. The trons aren't popping up, but uh, we know what's happening here. In comes Ricochet. I don't think he's too happy. Drew, you're not you're not gonna do any of that. You know why? Because I feel like I deserve a United States Championship match over you. Hell, I haven't even had a match. So you know what? If you've got the balls tonight, me versus you, the winner goes on to Money in the Bank to fight for the United States Championship. What's the matter, Drew? You're not saying anything. You're afraid? Guess what? That match is going to happen anyway. I'm going to prove to you why I deserve that title shot. Well, damn. Um, big match set up for tonight. Drew McIntyre versus Ricochet. The winner of that match will go on to Money in the Bank to fight Alistair Black for the United States Championship. And Ricochet looks fired up. I don't blame him. It's, it's his debut match, and he could already be going on to the United States Championship. But now it is time for possibly... I, I don't even know how to describe this match. It is a no, D, like no DQ match. So no disqualifications, no countouts. The winner will go on to fight Tommaso Ciampa for the Universal Championship. And... I, I don't get why Styles a attacked Bennett over over uh, attacking Champa, but it looks like Styles is fired up, and I don't blame him. It's a big opportunity. Uh, it's it's the chance to potentially go on to fight Tommaso Champa at Money in the Bank. So you know, you never know, and like. As you can see on the back, he's, he's wearing what looks like a homage to Finn Balor, and, and speaking of Balor, we haven't seen him since Extreme Rules over a month ago. And, you know, we, we don't even know what's going on with Balor, but let's not focus on Balor that's coming in. He might be known as Mike Kanellis, but in our hearts, he is the Miracle Mike Bennett. And he has one of the biggest opportunities of his career as he takes on AJ Styles. And, you know, Mike Bennett has been uh, somewhat of a punching bag in a way. You know, when, when Ciampa was pissed, when Ciampa lost in the first round of the Universal Championship Tournament, Champa took his frustrations out on Bennett, dislocated his shoulder, and he was gone for at least three months. And now that now that Bennett's back, he, he's got to fight AJ Styles. But now we're getting some uh, chain wrestling to begin this match. Styles able to able to uh, get that wrist lock going in. Oh, but Canellas able to sneak up behind and get the wrist lock in. 
Oh, and now Canellis. Well, Bennett. I'm gonna call him Canellis and Bennett. You're going to have to bear with me on this, all right? So now, oh, oh, oh. Oh, and the neck breaker coming in from Styles. And something tells me where this is a no DQ match. Um, these two are gonna brutalize each other in the ring, outside the ring. Obviously, the match has to end in the ring, but you know, these two can do whatever they want to each other outside as well as inside the ring. Is now all oh, no. Oh, all into the barricade. I, I totally forgot. Oh wait. Did I just see underneath that it's just all steel chairs? As oh Styles with the DDT on onto the chair in the early stages. He's throwing up that too sweet. So now what is Styles thinking here? AJ Styles. Oh I think he landed on the chair there. It's now Bennett gets Styles back into the ring. And oh, oh, there's the strikes. Going in on those strikes, and now, oh, inverted DDT from Bennett. Oh, but now AJ Styles with the drop toe hold. And you know what? Normally, I would say this would be a walk in the park for Styles, but then again, I think we all thought that when he fought against EC3, and EC3 sort of made light work of Styles. There's now, oh, oh, there's that uh, arm drag, but oh, Bennett with the spine buster. And now, oh, stomping on the gut. Now, oh, oh, Styles able to reverse. But now Bennett has, has Styles. What's he looking for here? Oh, not able to do anything. Styles able to uh, get, get some separation going. But now Styles looking to lock it in. Looking to get the Calf Crusher in early on. Calf Crusher locked in early on. Oh, but Bennett able to fight his way out with a single elbow to the back. Oh, now the strike off here. From Styles throws him outside the ring, and I think we know what comes next. Styles picks up the chair. Oh, 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 and now Styles going in with the combo of strikes. Oh, I feel a bit more worried about Styles because he sort of, uh, sort of, uh, caught himself, uh, on that still step there. And now Styles looking to get the early early advantage. Styles clash on the outside and Bennett looks dead. He looks out of it. Oh, but Bennett, what the hell? Bennett just no sold. It's now Styles neck breaker. Fans aren't too happy about um, Styles doing what he's doing. Oh, oh! Hits Bennett with the springboard forearm. And now, oh no, the steps are coming into play. Throws him down. Oh, but the dragon screw from Bennett. Oh, but now thrown back into the ring. Styles picks up the steps. Oh, Bennett went outside, but Styles is going inside. And now Bennett in a very, very bad situation. Oh, the power bomb onto the steps. The power bomb onto the steel steps. Back into the calf crusher. That's cinched in, and you gotta think Styles has been in control for this for this entire match. Bennett's sort of feeling like the underdog at this stage. It's now, oh, oh, oh! What a maneuver there from Bennett. One, oh, but a kick out of one from Styles. Oh, but now AJ 
Harry Styles, what's he looking for here? Oh, calf crusher again! Really, really applying the pressure onto uh, Bennett's calf and his leg. Just trying to wear down Mike Bennett. Oh, but Bennett fights out again. But the damage on his leg must, you know, really, really be an issue. Oh, well, here we go. Styles. We're going to get some separation and the fans don't seem to be too happy with Styles. Oh, springboard DDT. And now he's looking for the Styles clash. But Bennett able to get some separation going. Bennett with the super kick. And now Mike Bennett thinking. What's he looking for? Miracle in progress. One. Two. Oh, but Styles kicks out. Now, old oh, Bennett has Styles. Oh, but he's back. Oh, the damage from earlier on in this match is starting to pay dividend in this match here. As wait, hang on. Oh, Styles with the 1960. So first he wears a jacket in homage to Finn Balor, and now he's doing the 1916. Hang on a second. Oh, but the dragons screw there from Styles. Bennett rolls to the outside. Somewhat the wise thing to do, and there's a neck breaker from Bennett. My God, these two have thrown everything at each other. Oh, Styles now sending them into the barricade, but Bennett with the back elbow. Bennett. Oh, I thought he was going to send him into the uh, ring post there, but Styles just missed it. Now sending Styles back into the ring. Oh, oh, went for the back elbow. Oh, went for the discus clothesline. And now the slam coming in from Bennett. Now what's he looking for here? Bennett. Oh! Discus elbow, well, discus forearm there. Now, old oh, Bennett, neck breaker on the outside. Oh no! And now Bennett a might be looking to get some revenge. Wait. Oh, but he took too long. And Styles able to throw the chair into the head of Bennett, sending him back into the ring. Bennett took too long, and wondering if he should or shouldn't have hit him with the chair. And now it could all be over. AJ Styles looking for it. His one chance to go to money in the bank. Phenomenal forearm misses. There's now, oh, oh. DDT. That's a vicious DDT right there. There's now, oh, Bennett has the chair. Oh, and he took too long again, but oh, Styles not able to counter it this time. DDT onto the chair. The fans are behind Bennett here. Oh, but Styles with the clothesline. And immediately the fans turn or turn against this match. It's now old, old Bennett fighting. Bennett with the strikes. Into the corner. Slamming Styles head into the turnbuckle. Oh, and he's busted open. The fans are behind Mike Bennett here. It's now, oh, oh, what's he looking for? Oh, I think he might have hit his arm on the steel steps, though. That was a very, very risky maneuver there from Bennett. Oh, it looked like he might have been going for Miracle in Progress, but Styles able to counter. But now Bennett with the counter. And now all oh, the strikes again. Oh, it looked like he was going for something. Oh, and Styles thrown out of the ring. 
Oh, wait. What the hell is Bennett looking for? Oh, and he crashes and burns. All oh, the ribs. All oh, his ribs must not be doing all right there. All I've got to say is this match has been going on for a while. It's now, oh, oh no. Oh no, Bennett, bad idea. Don't taunt the match, it's not over yet. Oh, but the super kick. Styles just looked like he was out on his feet. As now, Mike Bennett thinking miracle in progress, and there it is. One, two. Oh, but a kick out again from Styles. I can't tell if that was like Styles willingly kicking out or if that was adrenaline kicking in right there. Styles realizing that his shot of money in the bank could be in jeopardy. It's now, oh no, what is Mike Bennett thinking here? Bennett, no. Oh, he just shrugged. Oh, God. His ribs and Styles' neck are probably not doing too well. One, two. I'm sorry, what? How is Styles still kicking out of all of this? Oh, now Bennett just working on the ribs of Styles. Has the chair. Oh, wait, he puts him in the corner. What's he looking for here? Oh, oh. Oh. Bennett, I think, might have misdirected himself. Or redirected. So that he could avoid that, that chair there. But now, oh, sending Styles outside. And I can't tell if my voice is dying or if, uh... I'm just commentating poorly today. Oh, but now Styles. Oh, into the ring post. Oh, boy. Now these two. I still can't believe that this is the opening match on an episode of Raw. Oh. Throw him into the LED there. God damn. Both men are just hitting each other with... Big maneuvers and just brutal fit. Oh! Head first into the chair. It's now, oh no, Bennett. Bennett might be looking for something big here. Looking to get Styles onto the top rope. And Bennett looking for something. What is he looking for here? Has him lifted. Thinking. Superplex, oh my god. That is probably the most tame thing they've done all match. But Bennett is not done. Super kick from Mike Bennett. Lifts him up. And now looking for the DDT. Into the cover. One, two. Bennett is going to money in the bank. Mike Bennett just fought. And so did Styles. In one hell of an opening match. On an episode of Monday Night. Well, not Monday Night. But just Raw. What on earth is going on today? As Mike Bennett is going to Money in the Bank to fight Champa for the Universal Championship. But speaking of Money in the Bank, we are also having a number one contendership match to see who will fight Candice LeRae for the Raw Women's Championship is coming in first is Io Shirai and I know a lot of people are going to want Io to win I know the fans uh, seem to be behind her you know she, she had a, a pretty good showing at SummerSlam but no one had a better showing than Candice who eliminated all three other women 
and we do actually have an injury update on Liv Morgan as well. Um, one of the chair shots kind of went a little bit wrong, and it was the ref's call to essentially just eliminate Liv Morgan for her safety. Um, she was actually supposed to be involved in the match for a lot longer than she was, but uh, sadly we did not get to see that. But anyway, as the Yoshirai has entered the ring, Sonya Deville is next. And, uh, um, uh, what? Uh, what? What's happened to her hair? What's happened to Sonya Deville's hair? Um, um, can, can someone help me? 2K, what have you done? 2K, what have you done? What have 2K done, man? What have 2K done? Oh, okay, there's a hair. Okay. So, it's just 2K not being able to actually, uh, do, uh, actually do things properly. Okay, cool, cool. I, I, I see how it is, 2K. I see how it is. Anyway, uh, enough, enough talking about glitches, um, Sonya Deville brutally attacked Candice LeRae, um, last week, and now we're in this situation where we're getting Io Shirai versus Sonya Deville, that's now all oh, the STO to begin, and, uh, I don't think anything's gonna be better than that, um, one hell of an ODQ match at the beginning of the, of the show, that's now, oh, oh, Sonya Deville just going in! Sonya Deville getting the early advantage. And you you best believe Sonya Deville wants to rule women's championship back as all oh, the spear. Sonya Deville wants that Raw Women's Championship back. To be fair though, she was pinned by the new champion, so I mean, she can't really say much. That's now all oh, EO trying to get some offense going, but oh Early on, you can already see that Sonya Deville is in control, but all oh, the dragon screw from Io Shirai. And now the slam coming in from Sonya Deville. And she's fired up. Into the corner goes Io Shirai as now. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, and Sonya Deville taunting probably at the wrong time. As now, uh, you see, Io, Io Shirai had, saw it coming, and now, oh, what a forearm. Sending Sonya Deville to the outside, but oh, no. There's a takedown from Sonya Deville. Referee counting for the first time. As now, oh. Io Shirai thrown into the barricade. Now sent back into the ring. Oh, oh, oh boy. Io Shirai, uh... Oh, oh! Triangle! Oh, but Io Shirai's in the ropes. The ref telling uh, Sonya that you gotta break up the pit. Oh, and there's a... Is that a forearm? Oh, and now Shirai gonna get some offense going. Now into the corner. Yo, Shirai. Oh, I don't think she's done. Yo, Shirai. What's she looking for? Oh, oh, God. Is that a moonsault with a double stump? Oh, and there's a spear, though. Both women just throwing everything they can at each other, and now, oh, no, here come the gut punches. Trying to wind Io Shirai. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and there's the kick to the gut. Which could actually end the match, but Sonya Deville is not done. 
Oh, and there's another spear. Oh, but Io Shirai straight back up to her feet. She said it's going to take a lot more than that to keep me down. DDT from Io Shirai. That's now old Io. Oh, with a kick to the head. It's now Io waits for Sonya Deville to get back up. That's now oh. Oh, Io Shirai. Oh. That's now oh, there's the dragon screw again. Oh! Io Shirai saw the spear coming and just jumped over. But Sonya Deville saw whatever uh, Io Shirai was uh, cooking up there. It's now, oh, 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 oh! There's the triangle again! Triangle locked in! Shirai. Shirai fighting her way out. Oh, went for the kick. Io Shirai, though, had it well scouted. And now what's Io Shirai looking for here? Snake eyes into the corner. So Io Shirai is, is fired up here, but she's a, she's a bit exhausted. And I don't blame her. Sonya Deville has been hitting her with spear after spear, and they're really working on the gut, trying to win the Yoshirai. Oh, oh. Oh, and there's a Tiger Suplex. God damn. It's now our oh, Yoshirai with that nice double axe handle. Taking it to the top rope again. As. Oh, there's the Moonsault. One, two, oh, but Sonya Deville just kicks out. What does Io Shirai need to do to win this match? Oh, went for the double axe handle, misses, gets caught into that triangle choke again. Io Shirai looks like she's struggling. She's slowly breaking her way out, though. It's now, oh, oh, Sonya Deville lets go before Io can break it up, but now, oh. Oh, and Sonya Deville just, uh, oh, she's fired up. That's probably the wrong thing to do when Io tries trying to get back into the ring, and oh! Oh, and there's the kick. Oh, no. One. Two and Sonya Deville's going to money in the bank. Damn. Whew. And you gotta think, Eo Strike came probably within an, 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 an arm's length away. From becoming a new number one contender. So hold nothing, you know. Io Shirai proved that she can go, but in the end, Sonya Deville is just laser focus as we move on to the main event. And it is main event time. As coming in first is the one and only making his uh, in ring debut at least. It is Ricochet. And you have to think, there's there's been a lot going on in the mind of Ricochet. Um, we haven't even yet asked him what happened when when uh, you know he got uh, attacked by the fiend. And it's surprising that Ricochet is actually still here because the Fiend attacked Bala and Bala we have not seen in two months. And here's Ricochet back in two weeks. Oh, 
And anyway, in comes the Scottish psychopath himself, Drew McIntyre. And you know what? I think this man is the future of Raw. I will say this now. He is the future. And this man will go on to do big things here on Raw. But can he get it done today? I don't know. We, we don't know what The Fiend has done to Ricochet when... Well, The Fiend didn't even attack Ricochet. The, the Fiend possessed Ricochet. So, we don't know what lasting effects that has on, on you know, the one and only. And we don't know if The Fiend's going to want to go... Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Drew telling Ricochet to get in the ring and here we go. McIntyre already. Oh! McIntyre already just manhandling Ricochet in the early stages. Oh, and that's a clothesline. And the fans are booing him because he said he's going to be, you know, taking out heroes. He's going to be taking out heroes that the fans love. And that's going to start with Ricochet, apparently. Oh, but now Ricochet. What's he looking for here? Oh, Ooh, middle rope moonsault. God damn. I went for the chop. Now Ricochet trying to fight to survive it all. Also, uh, apologies if um, if I sound a bit weird. I am a little bit bunged up. I do apologize. No, it is not what you think it is. It is just a bit of a cold. Or it's probably hay fever. It's probably hay fever. Um, that's now, oh, what's Drew McIntyre doing? Oh, what a suplex! As now, McIntyre has Ricochet on the ropes. And, and got caught himself on the ropes there. 2K, what's going on? As, oh, God. McIntyre now just striking the hell out of Ricochet. There's not much Ricochet can really do here. Oh, and there's the Glasgow kiss right there. Might be looking for the Claymore. But, oh, no, he's not. Shoulder tackle. Oh, God, the voice break. Oh, but now the chop coming in from Ricochet. Ricochet. Oh, went for the super kick, misses. And now, oh, McIntyre, what's he looking for? Just throwing Ricochet. Just literally, suit, like, went for the suplex and just yeeted Ricochet. Oh, but there's the super kick. Ricochet went for something and oh! Now, pushed away. As now, oh, oh, Ricochet caught Future Shock DDT. One, two. Ricochet showing resiliency. And if there's one thing that I know about uh, the man that possessed Ricochet the Fiend, so he has resiliency. And that's not good. Oh, and there's the forearm. And oh, 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 oh. I think he might have caught his leg on the rope. And a Finn McIntyre might have botched. Oh, and there's the chop coming in. And the side rush and leg sweep from McIntyre. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, and there it is again. That headbutt now. Claymore coming in. What's he looking to do? The Claymore. Oh, but Ricochet able to sidestep. Oh, and there's the discus for him, and I think he might have busted open McIntyre. And, oh, downward spiral. 
Oh, wait, Ricochet. What's Ricochet looking for here? Oh, was that a, a Phoenix Splash 2? Well, whatever it was, McIntyre is not impressed and it does not put him away. So now, what's Ricochet looking to do here? Ricochet. We're going to make a statement here, sending McIntyre over the top. Oh, and now Ricochet. Oh, over the top rope. Onto the outside. Oh, but McIntyre shrugging it off like it was nothing. Oh, and there's the Lufez press. Busting open Ricochet. Oh, and there's a big boot. Oh, and there's a strike. Oh, and there's a chop. What a chop there. Oh, headbutt. Oh, and there's another. Two headbutts. This could all very well be over. Oh, and he misses the Claymore again. Oh, and there's a chop. Oh, but Ricochet back up to his feet. Ricochet. Oh, what a kick. What a kick, and he goes in for the cover. What? I'm with you there, Ricochet. How? Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I, I was about to say he was caught in those ropes and all. Oh, what a half Nelson sort of dragon suplex there from McIntyre. is now all oh, no McIntyre. What's he looking for here? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, there's a chop. Oh, but Ricochet sending him. Oh, into the... Into the ring post. Referees at four. Oh, but now McIntyre with a kick to the gut. Oh, and there's the big boot. Refs at six. Refs at seven as McIntyre breaks the count. I mean, he did say he wants to defeat your heroes. He doesn't want to uh, get a count out win on your heroes. He sends Ricochet back into the ring. Oh, and there's the chop. Oh, but Ricochet. Oh, Ricochet thrown into the corner. McIntyre with the pure strength. My God. There's now Drew McIntyre. Oh, there's the headbutt. McIntyre with the headbutt now. This could all be over. As he calls for it. Claymore! One, two, McIntyre wins. Drew McIntyre picking up the victory here tonight. McIntyre picks up the win and will be going on to Money in the Bank to fight Alistair Black. It's Drew, as you can see, uh, he has busted wide open there. As now. Oh, wait, oh. McIntyre throwing Ricochet back into the ring. Hang on. Hang on. What? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Ricochet trying to fight the Fiend. Oh, but the Fiend takes him out. The Fiend is here. The Fiend shows up on Raw. Mandible Claw locked in. The Fiend has him. The 
the fiend has Ricochet here where he wants him. And oh, the mandible claw again. Oh, but Ricochet fighting his way out. Oh, what the hell, Ricochet with the mandible claw of his own. And he's telling the ref to count one, two. Oh, but the fiend powers out. This isn't a match, Ricochet. Oh, and he went for it again. Oh, but the Fiend saw it coming. And now the Fiend. The Fiend with the sister Abigail. And there it is again. Manable Claw. Locked in. And the Fiend strikes again. What does this mean for Ricochet? Where did Ricochet go? Static just appeared and then the Fiend's in the ring. But Ricochet has just disappeared. What just happened? What the hell has just gone on? I've been Byron I representing the CEW Network. The Fiend has just struck again. And Ricochet is just gone. Ricochet isn't here. The Fiend has just attacked Ricochet. And now he's gone. What the hell has just happened?